The app library now exists after your last home screen. Currently on this iPhone, I have three home screen pages that contain widgets and app icons. On this third home screen page, when I swipe left, the app library now appears. This is the only way to get to the app library. The app library contains every app that's installed on your iPhone. The apps are automatically broken down into categories. In each category box, we'll see three full app icons, and then if there are more than four apps in the category, a set of mini icons. Tap on any of the full icons to launch that app, and tap on the set of mini icons to expand that category and view all the apps within it. From here, we can then launch any of the apps or tap and hold for a bit to move or delete them. From within App Library, we can search only our apps with a tap on the search field up here or a swipe down. Every app is listed here alphabetically and we can quickly browse with a tap and drag on the alphabet to the right. Then just tap to launch an app from here. As I enter a search term, the results appear as I type. This search is a bit different from the standard iOS search because it'll only search installed apps. The typical Spotlight search on iOS will search for the apps on your device, but it also does a general search for that term, which can turn up many different types of results. It's possible to move apps from the app library to any of the home screens or to the dock. Here I'll drag the Shortcuts app from the app library out to my home screens. And I'll finally place it on the third home screen. It's also possible to remove apps from a home screen to have them exist then only in the app library. We can do this by drag and drop. I'll remove the Pages app icon from this home screen so it'll end up being stored only in App Library. It's also possible to tap and hold on an app and choose Remove App. This then gives us the option to remove the app from the home screen or delete it from the device. Removing it from the home screen means it will only appear in the app library. So using multi-touch, we can move several apps at once off a home screen and into the app library. If I want to eliminate this third home screen page, I can tap and hold on one of the apps to get into the edit home screen mode with the jiggling icon. Then move this app just a bit to make sure it's selected. Then with another finger, tap on all the other app icons that I want to select. In this case, I want all the ones on this page. Then I can just drag these apps over to App Library, and that will remove the third home screen. So we can now potentially store all apps in the App Library and have no app icons on the home screen saving that space only for widgets, or to just have a clean look at your wallpaper. In home screen settings, we can now choose to add new app downloads only to the app library and not to the home screen. So if you want to keep your home screen clear of all app icons or just the new downloads, you'll want to select app library only here. We're also able to choose to activate notification badges for the app icons in App Library. So the App Library is a major new addition to iOS. It's a great way to quickly view or find any app installed on your iPhone. It also gives us the option to eliminate most or all the app icons from our home screen or home screens. Going forward, I think many iPhone users will only have app widgets displayed on their home screen 
and let App Library store the rest of their apps rather than littering several other home screens with app icons. We can now hide or delete entire home screens at once. Tap and hold to get into Edit Home Screen Mode, then tap on the Home Screen Indicator here above the dock. This lets me know that I have three home screens along with App Library. Tap to bring up all three home screens at once. Now we can tap and drag to adjust the order the home screens will appear, or we can uncheck a home screen to hide it entirely. So with these two hidden now, I'm only going to have the main home screen with only widgets and my app library. We can bring the hidden home screens back in the same manner. To remove a home screen permanently, uncheck it here and then tap the minus button. This won't remove any of the apps on that home screen. They are going to remain available in App Library. But I won't be able to get this home screen back after removing it.